Today I'm going to show you live how to get great deals on multi-city flights all over the world using the United Excursionist perk. We're going to be using miles from United's frequent flyer program, Mileage Plus. Don't worry, these miles are easy to get even if you aren't a frequent flyer and I'll explain how at the end. Here's what the Excursionist perk is. Most frequent flyer programs divide the world up into regions and charge the same for an award flight to any city in the region from any city in the other region. For example, Oklahoma City to Paris might cost the same as Dallas to Prague because both itineraries originate in the central United States zone and end in the European zone. Stopovers, no stopovers, doesn't matter. It costs the same in points and fees. A few programs do it differently, but United does it this way, so let's stick with that because we're talking about a perk that's exclusive to United. The Excursionist perk is available on any round trip or open jaw award itinerary, you redeem miles, it's an award flight, from one zone to another. Here's what it means. Whatever zone you're flying into, Europe, Australia, Southeast Asia, wherever, you can add an extra destination to that itinerary within that same zone for free. It costs you no extra miles. So you could fly to Paris, stay as long as you want, then take another Star Alliance flight to Prague and it costs you no extra miles. You can essentially add on an extra destination for free. Remember, it has to be round trip or open jaw. If you don't know what open jaw means, it means you're returning to the same zone, let's say the central US, but not the same city. So if I flew from Austin to Paris and then came back to Houston or Tulsa or St. Louis, that's an open jaw, not a round trip. Most frequent flyer programs price open jaws the exact same as they price round trips because of those zone-based award charts. United recently updated their website to make it really easy to book the excursionist benefit. Let's take a look. I'm going to show you one of the most popular uses of the excursionist perk. It's all well and good to score a free flight from Paris to Prague or Athens to Moscow during your European adventure, but the truth is that outside the US, you can usually find regional flights for super cheap on ultra low cost carriers. In Europe, for example, there's Ryanair, Wizz Air, EasyJet, and so on. They're cattle class, ultra economy, not built for comfort, and they upcharge you for everything. So if you take a lot of luggage on your trips, which I don't recommend, but if you do, the excursionist benefit might be great for you because you get all your mileage plus perks, including checked bags. If you're like me and travel light though, you might just pay $17 for a Ryanair flight. Yes, they are that cheap. And Asia and South America have their versions of these low cost carriers. But there are a few circumstances where the excursionist perk allows you to make out like a bandit. If you're an eco-tourist, if you like nature, I'm willing to bet you would kill to visit the Galapagos Islands. Made famous by Charles Darwin, it contains ecosystems unlike any in the world. You can walk right up to giant tortoises, tropical penguins, marine iguanas, there's beautiful beaches, volcanoes, and it looks like it's a different planet. It's also expensive to visit. It's sovereign soil of the nation of Ecuador and a flight to the Galapagos will run you $200 to $300 minimum. No low cost regional airlines will cut you a break there. However, on United's award chart, the Galapagos is still part of the Northern South America zone, just like Ecuador. And one of the airlines that flies to the Galapagos, Avianca, the Colombian airline, is a Star Alliance partner, meaning you can redeem United miles to get there. So let's look at how we can book a stop in the Galapagos Islands where instead of paying $400 to $600 round trip, it's gonna be less than $100 in taxes and fees and a priceless opportunity to explore. We're in the united.com website with the front screen booking option. We're gonna click advanced search because what we want is a multi-city trip. It's easy to book the excursionist benefit, even though I said it's round trip or open job, but the way to price it out easily is to make it a multi-city trip because remember we're adding an extra itinerary. So let's do multi-city. I've selected my first destination as Austin to UIO, that's Quito, the capital of Ecuador. So we're flying from my hometown of Austin, Texas to Quito, Ecuador, November 11th, 2019. Yeah, let's do that. Destination number two, is UIO Quito Airport to GPS Galapagos. That's the airport in Baltra. Avianca flies there along with a couple of other regional carriers, but you don't get a break from those regional carriers. Uh, November 18th, 2019. Let's fly back from 
Galapagos to Houston. Um, I'm just saying Houston to show you an example of an open jaw. You could make it back to Austin and the same thing would populate. Let's click search. Got award travel selected. Let's set this to economy. Let's try to be a little bit flexible too. I'm gonna see what's going on Sunday. But in all of these cases, the lowest miles are 20,000 plus about 15 or $16 in fees. Pretty reasonable, 20,000 United mileage plus miles. This has got three stops, like 21 freaking hours. Ugh, that's a lot of traveling. Let's be nice to ourselves and do a seven hour flight. We'd pay a little extra miles, about $15. Let's see if there's anything better. I like to save miles, but I don't want to have three layovers. Show all flights. It's just for an example anyways. So let's select this one. So, so far we spent 32,000 mileage plus miles plus about $15. Now the next stop is from Quito to Baltra. Oh, hey, look at this, zero miles and $18 in fees. This is what makes the excursionist perk work. The second leg of the trip, which is from Quito to the Galapagos, which is still Northern South America, costs zero miles. By comparison, here's RomeToRio.com where you can price out the rough cost of transportation to different places. If we enter Quito to Baltra Island Airport in the Galapagos, we're looking at airfare of 203 to $299 minimum. And just as expected, this is operated by Avianca Ecuador. And here's an option for our date of travel, Sunday. We're gonna select zero miles. That's a pretty inexpensive redemption for business or economy if you wanna do that, but it's not that long a flight. It's just a remote destination, so it's expensive to get to. And then going back, usually the return flight has the taxes and fees. So this gets a little more expensive, but you're gonna see it no matter what. I think it's closer to $50 if you only did keto. Here we're paying around 130, but again, a lot better than 200 to $300 each way. So a total of 400 to $600, including the taxes. Let's see, what was my outbound? November 17th. All right. Oh, this is a little lower. So in this itinerary, we would be in the Galapagos from November, November 17th to November 23rd. You can massage it around. I don't know if you think that's enough time to spend in the Galapagos, but sometimes you have to do a little hunt and peck for the right itinerary to make this work. So here's, uh, this is an itinerary that's gonna get us from the Galapagos all the way back to Houston, all the way back to Texas. So let's just pick this one. All right, I'm signed in. So we have a total of 67,000 miles and $126.41. So we're spending about, value United points at around one and a third points, spending about $871 for the entire trip when $400 of this would have been taken, at least $400 of this would have been taken up just by the trip to the Galapagos. So let's go back to Rome to Rio and do sort of a multi-city trip. Let's say Austin to Quito to Galapagos. Houston. Total trip is at least $1,129, probably closer to $3,800 if you're not lucky. So we just did it for something like $870 in points and $126 out of pocket. 
that's a good fucking deal and that's how the excursionist benefit works. Since there's no ultra low cost carriers that really work the same way that Ryanair and Wizz Air do in Europe, this can actually be a good deal for flying from different zones within the United States. So if you live in Texas like I do and you wanna take a trip that hits New York and Washington DC, you can make the New York to Washington DC leg of the trip zero points as well because you're flying to a different zone from the central US to the east coast of the US and then the first leg of the trip is within that zone. Remember, it has to be within that same zone. I couldn't make this work if I were flying from Northern South America, which is where Ecuador is, to Southern South America. If I wanted to connect, for example, in Chile or Brazil, which is part of the Southern South America zone. Actually, Brazil might still be Northern South, South America, but uh, uh, Argentina would definitely be Southern South America. So traveling from one zone to another after the first trip out of your zone, doesn't qualify for the excursionist perk, but within the same zone does. So that would work for central US to the east coast or central US to the west coast, west coast to the US to the east coast and vice versa, or within Northern South America, Southern South America, Europe, Southeast Asia, North Asia, Northern Africa, Southern Africa. Those are some of the different zones that United divides the world into. Now, if you don't have United Mileage Plus Miles, you can get miles by booking United or Star Alliance flights or by getting and spending on one of United's co-branded credit cards. We usually recommend instead accumulating Chase Ultimate Rewards points because they can be collected quickly from a number of valuable cards, including the Chase Sapphire Preferred, Chase Sapphire Reserve, Chase Freedom, Chase Freedom Unlimited, the Ink Preferred, the Ink Unlimited, or the Ink Cash. Check out our videos on those subjects if you wanna learn more, but suffice it to say, you can transfer Chase Ultimate Rewards points one-to-one -one into United Miles, as well as several other mileage programs, making Ultimate Rewards a flexible currency that you can accumulate very quickly. And that's how you can get your mileage plus miles and get extra value out of them with the Excursionist perk. Go to the Galapagos, or Washington DC, or wherever. Just go, get, get the fuck out of here.